you know, the very first time I did one of these events, like I was talking back at that Chicago event, I, I was trying to figure out how do you stick the landing, right? How do you finish the show and kind of stick the landing? And in my mind, I had the idea of, of, of a joke, right? It's hard to beat humor. So you plant a seed at the beginning of the, of the, the presentation of the speech, and you end with a punchline, you get a laugh, and you, and you walk off. And so that was my plan. As I'm about to walk up on stage, I'm, I'm, I'm going through my kind of rhythm of what I do before I go up. I'm turning my cell phone off. And as I'm about to turn it off, a chime comes in. I don't know why I open it, but I open it. And it was a teammate of mine who, who, who just sent me a quick text to tell, tell me that two of, two of our teammates had just been killed in Afghanistan. One was a really good buddy. The other I knew well. Uh, I knew their families well. I knew, I knew their children well. And um, it was a sobering moment. I mean, it was just one of those uh, timely things that helped kind of refocus my energies. And um, it occurred to me that there was an opportunity there. Because what it made me think of is there's only two reasons you'll ever see a Navy SEAL off base in uniform. One is to go to a wedding. That's an awesome reason to be in uniform, to celebrate that moment with your buddy and his, his bride and, 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 to, and to kind of help them on that path. And the other reason is to attend a funeral. And I've lost count of how many funerals I've been to in the past decade. But the amazing thing about being in uniform and being off base is not a single time I've done that have people not almost bruised my back, patting me on my back, thanking me for my service. It is an amazing time to be a warrior in this culture. It is, it's unbelievable, and there's people in this room I know that came back from a different war to a very different reception, which is a breach of a national trust I can't even wrap my head around. But what it made me think was, is in this moment, I have an opportunity every time I have the microphone to return the favor. And so I say this sincerely. I thank you for your service. I thank you all for giving us something to fight for, for cherishing a game that's a gift that was given, us, given to us, if I understand it right, before this earth was ever even in existence, right? This game was a gift from a creator before we were even here. And we get to enjoy and be blessed by that. I thank you for upholding that game. I thank you for giving that game to me. I hope I can give back to it what it has given to me. If I can be of service to any of you in the future, please call on me. I sincerely appreciate the time and I thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you.